Bonjour, bonsoir, dear friends, and welcome to JCB Live today. Wine style with the fabulous Danelle. Hi, happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. This is so exciting. Today with your loved ones, we are celebrating the beginning of eight days of celebration. And this is so exciting because we get to light the candle. As we light the candle, we're going to enjoy eight amazing wines for the eight days. And the candle really symbolizes the light that was supposed to stay for one day, but lasted thanks to the oil for eight. So this is the miracle of what life is about and the beginning of this incredible Jewish holiday that we all want to celebrate with passion and certainly respect and love. So happy Hanukkah! For this, Danelle, I know you're going to be cooking something fantastic. I am. With oil. I am with oil. We are going to make potato latkes today. Uh, it's really easy, thankfully for me, because you don't usually see me in the kitchen. But she's outstanding. So we figured for eight crazy nights, we put two crazies in the kitchen together. And I needed those beautiful blue <laughs> eyes to be the inspiration and the mirror of the gorgeous candles. And hopefully we don't burn anything down. <laughs> Well, if not, we have wine at least. If we don't eat, we drink. This is the liquid diet that we're gonna have. So to celebrate, we thought what would be great is to start in the heart of Burgundy, in Chablis, in one of the most historical places as well, that is a Kermangen soil, which means oyster beds, layers of oyster beds, and the rootstock goes deeply through it. And this is one of the most miraculous wine of Burgundy because it has like Hanukkah intense purity and deep respect of history and heritage. And this is the premier cru Montmain from the house of Moreau. So this is one of the oldest house of Chablis. We have an incredible winemaker like you, fabulous. Her name is Lucy and she makes spectacular, very vivacious and vibrational wine. Moreau was founded in 1814 with this tradition of purity, letting the soil really be in your glass. So we're not having oysters, but they are indirectly into the glass because we feel it, that energy from the soil itself. So imagine how resilient the rootstock is. It goes through up to 30 feet sometimes and gets that amazing minerality of this wine. So cheers. Happy Hanukkah again. And Danelle, the world is dreaming to see you get this oil warm oh my gosh. and get going. <laughs> so potato latkes. We are going to start with russet potatoes. Aha. Uh -huh. So we're God, peel... isn't it dangerous to give you a tool like that? Probably. In your hands? Probably. Look at Danelle. She's not shaving me today. She's actually shaving. A nice potato. So we're gonna peel some potatoes. You're doing it so well. I would have peeled them ahead of time, but they turn brown. Oh, so we, we didn't want, want that to, to be happen. the right color. Okay, I should have got two peelers. You could have helped me peel. Yes, but uh, okay. you know, I remember a few years ago I used that. I really needed to shave. <laughs> this is actually very good. Let me show you. Let me show you. You see, I'm using my left hand so you can watch me because they both work identically well. I'm peeling, I'm peeling, I'm peeling. So Danelle, how did you get this great idea of this wonderful recipe and why? Well, I did a little bit of research actually uh -huh. and found that this is one of the traditional side dishes that uh, people serve on Hanukkah. Uh, the fried foods is something specifically that they like to serve. Yes. And I love anything fried. For so sure. So I thought it was perfect. I tried out a couple other things uh -huh. at a time and they didn't turn out so good. Well, I'm sure they so did. So this one was easier for me to do. So and do it I tastes cut? delicious. No, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. So are we going to do all the potatoes? No, we're going to do, God. we need two cups. So I figure maybe four potatoes. We'll uh -huh. have to measure it. And you know nothing better than potatoes with white wine. You know, another great recipe, of course, that we love to do is a little fried potato, crème fraîche, 
and maybe caviar eggs as well or smoked salmon eggs or just simply smoked salmon and I know it's another great recipe we do as an amuse-bouche together right that we right. big fans okay so now we're shall just we do use... each both side let's each do a side okay together watch your knuckles ah! any blood in it grate your potatoes on a cheese grater This is a feast on its own. I've never grated with Danelle. This is actually the first it's a time. First, it's a first. This is what you call a real teamwork. <laughs> oh, this feels so good. There's nothing more relieving and relaxing than cooking. You know, as a young boy, six years old, my mother recently gave me my wish list was to become a chef. Can you imagine? Yours if it would have happened, it would have been a disaster. Oh, <laughs> no, you do good. But I need to tell you I love, ooh, oh, look ooh. at this. That's probably I mean, enough. this is pretty impressive, isn't it? Well, oh, you did two and I just did one. You're so fast in it. Well, my grate was larger. Uh-huh. Well, you like larger things in general. Larger is better. Larger is better. Mm -hmm. So, I- We've heard I, that before, right, I'm Dylan? not a- <laughs> Train chef, I have to measure everything out. So, two cups. This is a half a cup. So we're gonna do. Oh, we did perfect. God, right? it's amazing how two destiny cups. makes us do great things without knowing we can. Right? Yes. Okay. So we save a little potato just in case. This is for Julia. Voila. So we're gonna put the potato in a cheesecloth. Uh -huh. And what's the reason for that? Well, because there's a ton of water in potatoes. Uh -huh. And so then... You squeeze? Oh, you squeeze, squeeze that little the bowl hard. hard! Isn't that crazy? God! I know. Go stronger, Danelle. You can do it. Oh, Ooh, it hurts! Somewhere! <laughs> no. Okay, so you uh, squeeze all the water. Don't we have fun in the kitchen? God, no, oh, you're squeezing so hard now. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to put it back okay. in. You see how she leads squeeze. and I'm just the servant, the sous chef, the executor. All squeezed out. Okay. Yeah, that down. looks very nice now. You can see. And it's not Gruyere or Emmental or Comte cheese. <laughs> this is potato. Potato. I'm going to put... Uh, God, what an achievement for our first five minutes. For our first cooking experience ever together. Uh, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Well, I need to remind you something, Danelle. What? One of, as I put a little potato on you, uh, we've done donuts together, you remember? You were quite I decorate, nice. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, one and a half teaspoons of salt. Okay. Three eggs. Ooh, Here, you want let to me do that. Favorite. That's the favorite. Don't get any shells in. All egg? The whole egg. The whole egg. La, 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 la. Okay. We should have Botticelli as one of our guests soon because he's quite good at that. Now you just honey. stir it up. Okay. Well, Danelle, I'm going to have another sip because after all that exercise, it's amazing smell. Oh. The ocean. You have a feeling you have a wine actually raised on the bench. Of the Atlantic Ocean, and it's far away. It's 250 kilometers away from it, but it's amazing and pure. I was just using the word vivacious. And if you haven't, you know, we created the spectrum of style with Marnie Old, and this is quite amazing where we categorize the wines in six families. And one of the white wine is vibrant, and one of the beautiful women as Danelle is, is Brigitte Bardot. Ooh. She represents vibrancy, vivaciousness, and this really makes me think of, of that wine. And I love Chablis, by the way, because as we're cooking, this is the kind of wine that is not too heavy. There's minimal influence of oak. The regular Chablis, the village does not have any oak. It's really vinified in stainless steel tank and kept as such. Here, we have in the MoMA, the very famous Premier Cru, we only make 3,600 bottles for the whole world. This is carefully vinified in little French oak. 
Now we're going to grate some onion. That you do on your own. I know. If not, I'm going to smell like an onion all day. Peel the onions, Danelle. So about one tablespoon of onion. I love Hanukkah as a tradition because it brings so much together, family, friends. It's a celebration. I love celebrating lights. I know. And the image of the light and the temple and the oil. Danelle, you've put all those lovely coins. They look like they're made out of chocolate. They are chocolate So coins. tell us about the meaning of the coins. Well, I believe if history, how I read it, was that the Jewish children, this goes way, way, way back, used to give them to their teachers. Oh. Yeah. For rewarding them to teach them knowledge. Correct. And the, then the parents started giving them to their children as a reward for learning the Jewish studies. I see. Yes. So now children are being paid to learn. Yes. That's quite amazing. Well, I think we do in America too, right? <laughs> so are we finished with this story? We're because finished with this. I'm the sous chef. I'd better clean. Okay. Well, I'm a big fan of what I'm smelling here. Ooh. So I've turned, I'm using grapeseed oil to fry in. Those? No. Not yet. That's okay. for your decoration, oh. your garnish. Oh. Um, heat your grapeseed oil about a half a cup to, on medium. Okay. And then we're going to fry our potatoes. Let's do it. Do you want to make a cocktail? Uh, well, while we're frying potatoes? I think it would be really, really fun. But I'd rather have you make the cocktail because you're the queen of mixing. Well, I was going to make it. I yes. was going to make it. So switch, you want me to fry it? What? No, I want to let the oil heat up. Yes, I let's, let's get oil. that going. So we're going to make a gingerbread sour. We haven't used the JCV gin for a while, so I thought gin would be yeah. amazing while we're making our potatoes. Because for Hanukkah, we could do wine and spirits. Of course, it's fun to have a Always. cocktail as well. I love cocktails. Why just being one dimensional when we could be multi-dimensional? So this is a quick one, and it'll uh -huh. surprise you. We're gonna do a quick one, but two, a big one. A quickie, but a biggie. Ooh. Two ounces of gin. We consistent, aren't we? <laughs> one ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Ooh, from the garden. From Those the garden. Beautiful Myers lemon. I picked them actually myself this morning. Really? How did they feel? Well, they feel a little sharp if you don't go in with a jacket. You climb into the bush. They've got uh, the thorns on them. Yeah, but this is. You know, we in December, this is going to be beautiful lemon tons season. Of lemons, tons. It's gorgeous right now. The sun reflecting on that beautiful yellow skin. It's fabulous. From December, obviously, till the end of January, we'll be harvesting our lemon. Uh, we're going to do a splash of gingerbread syrup. Yes, that you've made as that well. That I've made, and we've okay. actually got to put it to good use. We've made a couple yeah. of cocktails with it. Yeah. And one egg white. And you make a few liters of it, so you have it for... Mm -hmm for the next month. Yeah, it stays, it stays good in the fridge for probably a month. So you need to refrigerate it. Yes. Yeah. And then you bring it out, let it get down to room temperature before you I really it. recommend you all do this. this. This has been a huge hit in the last few weeks as we receive. Now for the holidays, Danielle right. has made so many great cocktails and this is a big, big hit and make you so unique because no one really does it or takes the time to do it. Right, right. You can infuse anything with simple syrup, you mm. know, lavender, yeah. ginger, anything. It's, I see. Yeah, it's really nice. Okay, so an egg white. Aha, I know I'm gonna love it. Every cocktail with an egg white. Can we do a, a, a Ramos Fees at some stage? We can Danielle? do, yes, we can My do that. My favorite cocktail We'll do that when we cook. We'll have to do biscuits and gravy and Ramos Fizzes in the morning that for like good. New Year's Day. We need to beg Julia to make it on the schedule, <laughs> Julia, please. We're gonna do uh, two dashes of orange bitters. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna dry shake it. So we're gonna shake it without any ice in it to fluff up that egg. I see. We're gonna get it really good. Ooh, it's oh, it's exploding. Well, wow, it's exciting. <laughs> it's big, it's big. Okay. <laughs> Dylan is excited, look at him. <laughs> what a naughty no, boy he is. Do you think we can control Dylan's appetite? No, <laughs> never. What a beast Add he's some become. ice and let's shake it again. Nice and good. That's looking good. I love the concept of wine and cocktails. And historically in my life, it was always bubbles and wine. And you've really, as we've introduced this amazing spirits collection, Danelle, you've really introduced that to my 
to my mind. And now I love starting even the evening with a cocktail and then move to bubbles, right? Ooh, I love this. This is really looking good. Doesn't that look delicious? And then we'll garnish it with just some fresh slices of ginger. Ooh, ginger? Yeah, it's I a see. ginger, ginger Try it sour. First. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> It's never too early to have the nettles cocktail. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's strong. <laughs> Should I squeeze more lemon? No, there's plenty of lemon. It's, <laughs> actually, it's really good. Hey, we both have been tested and we're both positive, so everything is okay. <laughs> No, I gotta tell you, I love it. I'm quite of emotion and excitement and, and joy. This is this is the first night of Hanukkah. This is the light of the candle need to go and be in our eyes, the nail. Okay, our I really enjoy it. Our grace is smoking. We probably should. Mm -hmm. it's a little fire. Yeah. Okay, so shall I get the fire extinguisher? It's in right case. over there in the corner. <laughs> Let me get it. Do you see it? Dear friends, just in case, we never know what can happen in the kitchen with the now. You know, we in Napa Valley, we love fire. So we are equipped <laughs> everywhere, under our bedroom, under the mattress, everywhere, in the bathroom, and certainly in the kitchen. Okay, so I'm, okay, I'm going to put these in. Do you need more fire? Because I have, no. I can get you we more flames. it down a little bit. So as we're doing this, which is quite exciting, is we're going to now show you another incredible wine because we might as well, this is this fabulous cocktail, very zesty, very appropriate with the Chablis by the way. Now we're going to the Top Gun. So dear friends, we were talking about the soil. Soil is very important. This is oyster beds. Remember, layers and layers of 60 million years of oysters beds piling on top of one another and creating this beautiful soil. Now, Clos de la Roche. Roche means rock, of course, in French. This is a clou, meaning enclosed by a wall. And this is Grand Cru Burgundy. So for this first day of Hanukkah, we being crazy, having fun. Premier Cru Chablis, Grand Cru, Côte de Nuit Village area, which is the top of the top. So this happens to be to all the mothers of the world, to all the leading women on the planet, to always listen to your instinct. Why? Because this is what happened when those ladies decided to plant this amazing vineyard. It was impossible to do because it was on a rock and they succeeded and this became Clos de la Roche one of the most sought after Grand Cru of the 29 red Grand Cru of Burgundy this happens to be one of my favorite wines because it's very delicate very refined Danelle very sophisticated I know you want to put a little bit of wine in there Is it yeah, just to get some flames going okay that's so cute I know. You hey, want. I'll have some of yours. Here's a little bit. Eight crazy nights. <laughs> so, Benel. Cheers. Clos de la Roche. Mm. So, here, different style of stone. This is oyster. This is pure clay, but the rock is really high mineral rocks, calcareous soil. So, very interesting contrast between the two and I think it's going to go fabulous so well. Too. Remember we Almost make right. only three barrels of this wine. A barrel is 300 bottles so we make 900 bottles of this wonderful 2016 Claude La Roche. So very very sought after and very unique. So 
This is a great assortment. If we do two wines times eight, can you believe it's 16 different wines through Hanukkah plus a cocktail? This should really fulfill our the, celebration of life. And the eight crazy nights. Oh, look at this. The nail, they're very thick. Eh? You did that on purpose. Well, it's the egg yes. that makes them thicker. And you fry them a little bit thicker, so it's not just like a hash brown or a regular potato pancake. And we're going to do... So do we want to put a little caviar on it or not really? Not really. No, this one. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> All so right, dear friends, we are almost done. Look at that. I did read up on these a little bit. So you can either serve them with applesauce, yeah. which will make it a little sweet, mm. or you can do savory, which I chose to I do like savory. savory. And so we're going to put sour cream oh. and oh. some scallions. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to hide the small one no. by the big ones. It's two big ones and the smaller ones. It's a very nice geometry, Danielle. There's a lot of secret symbols within this beautiful structure you just created. <laughs> we won't go into the details. We'll drop some scallions on there. We just want to show you it was real potatoes from the garden. Mm. Ah, no, we didn't burn the kitchen down. No, not yet. There you go. But there's more to come. Potato lockies. Dear friends, happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. With Danielle in the kitchen. Isn't it a lot of fun? Cheers. Cheers.